guys, this is How to Do That Band Part 4. And so last week I got you to. Okay, I was just looking at that. And I cannot understand my handwriting at all. Anyway, that bend Part 4. So last week I got you to go over and twist your hands onto the floor. Why did that say high brick? But anyway, whatever that says, I guess we're going to have to skip because I can't read that. But what you need to do is you need to get stuff soft, like some pillows. No, wet. Let me show you. One, two, hey, get that way, it's kind of cute bit. Three, four, and last but not least, five. So now, once we've got our very nice, hey, get back to where you should be. You've got your very nice oh, soft floor. This is when we can start working on trying to do a back bend. But what we need to do is we need to try and not have them near hard objects like that and so I'm gonna have to move you away that's all right no we're weak we can move them let's say here Jenny move up away please if you do not know my cat she has what's the same name as me And I've just got this massive one that can go there that I use for my bed. It's all nice and soft. So like how I have just shown you my very satisfying pillows that I have got, that's around enough to keep you away if you fall <laughs> So they are now they are now far away from the hard furniture. Let's put you back. And so after we've done that, let's get a good angle. So you can see all the pillows and oh why don't you stick in these two so that later. Oh well. Um anyway after this is how to land. So I think I need to move you to a different spot. So let me do that very quickly. Okay, coming over here. That should be perfect. Right there. Just move you off. Okay, everything is fine. Let's get back. Let's get set up again. Anyway, so this is your new spot. I used to film right there. But anyway, the new spot here. What we are doing is we this is how to land because you need to know how to land because you might need to know because this is health and safety i want you to be safe at all times so that's why i always give you warnings on what to use and what not to use why you need a soft floor because your first it's basically your first time trying 
So I make sure it's very thick, very easy to punch. <laughs> yeah, they're amazing. Anyway, this is how to land. So, when you feel like it, you go to the end, when you close it. You try, let's just say you try, don't try, I'm just doing an example. You try, you need to go back, try and lean your head forwards until you land, so you'll land on a sort of landing. Hopefully that was a good example, if not, hopefully you know what I mean. If not, I can't really help you with that. Oh my gosh. But anyway, so now, we're going to be trying to do our, um, what's it called, Lily? You're going to have to move out the way. Good girl. You're going to have to, we're going, oh yes. So remember how last week I got you to twist your hands and land on the floor? Well, we're going to be going a bit lower. So let me just move you. That's perfect. So we're going to be. No, let me move that up just for now so you can see me. So we're going to be going further down. We're going to be going further down. And then twist. And then go down onto the pillows. Into your mini bridge. If you have no idea what a mini bridge looks like. And this is what it looks like. You're just doing this. I call it a mini bridge, but you can call it whatever you want. But yes, we're going to try and do that. So now we're going to try and get lower and lower. So first it off here, then go down. You could get a little bit lower until you, oh my gosh, get past your hips. So, in line with your hips, twist and go down. And just remember, you don't have to be scared because you've got tons of pillows to lay on, don't you, Lily? And so that shall be fine. Let me just let Until you get that far, if you if you cannot do that, then keep practicing. Pause the video, even if it takes like a day or so. That's fine. And now I've got to go over to the top again. Can you stop falling? I'm gonna have to give you blue tack. You just put me to a side of my wall. <laughs> Two. Okay, so now you. We are now giving advice from when we do it. We're not twisting our hips like this. We are keeping them in front of us the whole time. And chin up. We don't want to keep looking forwards because otherwise you're going to just catch your neck on your, with your neck and that's not nice. And don't look, try and look up and back. That's what you're trying to do. And don't look down because that's basically just going to be even worse. And what we need to do is you don't want your hands, you don't want your hands to land like a mini bridge. You don't want them to land like that. You do. Wait, what? Yes, you do. You're going back into this, but make sure it's not facing, not with your straight legs, because if I told you in the bridge, your hands are going like that with your elbows up, because you're going to land like that. I get having to move you up and down. Only, only, and I mean only because this can now start to get a little tiny, once a bit dangerous. Is this is only then you can you can start trying to do a back bend. Now just keep trying. Remember, 
if you don't mind what to do, I'm going to try and fail, but sometimes I find it scary to fail because I don't like failing. Like this because what if they that will, what will happen? When you land on the thingies, you need to have fast reflexes to pick your head up. And once you land, you shall be fine. Please do not worry. You will need to start to fall. But hopefully, if you keep on trying, that is when you can do the back bend. Now, I only try it on the pillows. Like, around 10 times before you start to feel confident. But that's when you can start moving on to a little bit harder. Look. Once you can do that, what's on the face, please? Don't try and look to the side or anything. Two, if you can look to the side, you're basically always twisting your hip that way. So just try and look up and back and arc your back. Now, once you land, you can land on the pillows, like I told you like two seconds ago. Um, you can move them out the way and try. But you should be able to do a back bend. And yes, but let me tell you. Something. Now something is next week I'll be doing how to do a backwards walkover, which I shall show you. Yes, that's what I shall be teaching you next week. Hopefully you saw that. But bye guys. Ooh.